G'day guys, I just received my hard drive water blocks in the mail, so today I'll be showing you a video tutorial on how to install them. Welcome back guys, um, so the tools you'll need for installing your hard drive water block is a screwdriver, a pair of scissors, some thermal pads, and your hard drive water block. <coughs> First of all, you want to start by taking all of your all your components out, get the hard drive water block, the screws that come with it. They will be screwing into the water block into the hard drive to make a secure connection so that the thermal pads can do their job. So first of all, take your thermal pad out of the packet. So what I like to do with this is I like to put it over the chip and then I just press down lightly where the chip ends so that I can get a, a rough sort of shape for where I have to cut out. So you just push down the edges and that should just create an outline. Only rough. Hard drives aren't really a priority in water cooling, but um, yeah, because of my desk mod, I'm just coming all out and everything. So I thought, you know what, you may as well cool your hard drives. So I'm just cutting out the um, rough outline. Do a check fit. So that's pretty good. Might just shorten shorten the end here a tiny bit. The screw holes will get in the way, so just cut off what you need to so that the screw holes aren't touching the thermal pads. There is a there is a screw hole over this side here, so I'm just going to push the edges down on each side so I know where to cut out. So if I just line this up on the hard drive chip push down where I need to cut. That's made some indents in the thermal pad. Then I will just make a small incision and cut around Okay, so now that I have this edge cut out and I have a small hole where the screw will be going, we can now install this onto the hard drive. So you want to remove the back plastic layer of the thermal pad. Put it in place. Just smooth that out a bit. So it's contacting as much as it can. 
and then remove the top layer. And that's all in place. Okay. With the remaining bit of thermal pad, you just want to cut a nice square. Just cut out a nice square. And this square we go on this circle bit right here. That is one of the main bits that needs to be cooled. So take your plastic bit off, apply it. Take the second plastic bit off on the other side and make sure it's sitting flat and covering all of the all of the components okay that's good now onto the hard drive board block side of it. <coughs> okay so what you want to do here is you want to give this water block a nice clean with some alcohol okay so I have the alcohol and what I want to do is just get a cloth a small dab of the alcohol on the cloth not onto the block do it onto the cloth and then get the block and just give it a small wipe over Get it nice and clean. Okay, so that's looking pretty clean. So you just let it sit for a second for it to dry. Take your screws out. Okay, so you want to grab your water block, carefully place it on the hard drive, and try and line up the screw holes. That's good. And then you want to put each of the screws in the holes on the side. There should be four. Grab your screwdriver and what you want to do is you want to tighten diagonally. Don't fully tighten them, but just do them up far enough so that they grip the hard drive. So that hasn't gripped yet. Starting the grip now. Okay, do the diagonally opposite one. Yep, that's gripped. Don't do it up too tight. Do the one above it. And do this one up. Okay, now do this one tight. Do the diagonally opposite tight. Do this one tight. And finally do the last one tight. 
not too tight, but tight enough. And there we have it. That's how you install a hard drive water block. Thanks guys.